Nerve pain that extends to one or both legs is commonly caused by degenerative spinal disc disease. This can lead to a herniated disc, a common cause of patients experiencing back pain. For patients with a herniated disc causing nerve impingement or compression, an endoscopic approach is regarded as a highly successful procedure that may bring relief and restore mobility. For a centralized disc herniation at L5 to S1, an interlaminar approach is typically used to access the disc. During surgery, with the aid of fluoroscopy or X-ray imaging, the surgeon will use a needle to mark the proper trajectory from the skin to the disc herniation. A guide wire will be inserted through the needle and the needle will be removed. Dilators will be placed sequentially over the guide wire to then allow for the cannula to be inserted. Through this cannula, a specialized spine-specific endoscope is introduced to allow for real-time direct visualization of the tissue layer that covers the backside of the spinal canal. A small incision will be made in this tissue layer, or ligamentum flavum, to allow for the endoscope to pass through. Using the instruments, the surgeon will carefully push the spinal nerves aside to protect them and allow the disc herniation to come into view. Through the working channel of the endoscope, small instruments will be used to take out disc fragments of the herniation. An electrocautery tool will be used to cauterize the fibrous outer layer of the disc to prevent future disc herniations. Once the herniation has been removed, the surgeon will bring out the endoscope and may place a stitch or two to close the incision before placing a small bandage. By employing an interlaminar approach to a centralized disc herniation, your surgeon can reduce the risk of damaging soft tissue and muscle structures, and therefore can achieve a lower risk of infection and fewer postoperative complications, letting you return to normal daily activity sooner.